So we have two elements to the contact printer. One is the holder where the negative goes in and it's the fresh paper. It's placed all the way to the top on the inside here and all the way to the right. Okay, all the way this way. So you open it like that. And on the other side, we have our light source. Here with the battery holder, yeah, where you can take out that part and replace the battery. And here with our three LEDs. Now, the idea is that we have our negative. You take out a fresh paper. I don't have a fresh paper in here. I just have a, a waste paper in here. Or an already exposed photo. Yeah. So let's say this is your fresh paper. You place it here. And important now is that the negative faces towards the light. So the light basically imprints the negative onto our fresh paper. Okay. Place it in here. Really, really tight. And it's exactly the same frame size as the instant box camera. Yeah, as the photo frame. Now you expose. And you take the negative out and the soon to be positive goes into the chemical. Okay, so here and then, well, this is already the positive from this photo. You put it in the chemicals like usual. Okay, this would be the positive. Okay, so take your negative, put it onto a fresh piece of paper, make sure the negative goes this way. Yeah, so that's the negative here. And this is the emulsion side of your fresh paper. Put it together, place it in. Now you see I'm doing this all with one hand and filming, so it's no problem to do it. You turn on the light, and that's it. That's as simple as it is. And if your negative is always consistent, then your exposure time will be the same. Yeah, now it goes into the open fixer, and boom, we have it. Now there are two other options that um, I recommend using. Depending on your paper, this light and the light length will be different. So you can, and that's why I have this tape here, you can tape parts of the LEDs. If it comes off. Come on. <laughs> so you take the tape and you tape, for example, these two LEDs. Yeah. So the light is not so strong, okay? And you can also use a filter that I will provide. Now this is the same as exposing a negative. When you use the filter with multigrade paper, the positive will become softer. So I actually, when you use multigrade, I recommend using the filter here. Yeah, you can just stick it on here. And I also recommend, if you use FOMA paper or a thin resin coated paper, that you tape it and you just use one LED because that way you have a longer exposure time. So for this paper, this is a FOMA Speed RC paper. I take one LED and the filter and it takes four seconds. This exposure, this perfect exposure that you see here from this negative took four seconds. Okay, now if you have a fiber-based paper that's thicker, it will take longer. You have an Ilford paper, it will take a different time. You have to test this. But now I know with this paper, if the negative is as good as this negative, because this is a very good tonality negative, it takes me four seconds and it will always take four seconds.